Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here with you personally, first time personally, yeah. Uh, and to talk about one of the most important issues facing the businesses in 2020s. I mean, document collaboration. So my name is Alex, I'm with Only Office, and I'm responsible for their professional services. For the next few minutes, I will, I will try to take you through challenges of the document editing and uh, how only office can help your team to overcome them. So let's get started. Uh, the pandemic has had a significant uh, impact on the way we work. So now the employees prefer to work from home and remote work is now more relevant. So uh, now all remote workers need to be able to work on their documents from anywhere to collaborate on their documents and to ensure the security of their documents. But all these challenges can be difficult to overcome without using right software. So, but with only office, you can ensure effective teamwork regardless of where your team is located. Uh, we have identified four main tasks for us in 2023. So first one is security. It is very important. So with this growing number of the security threats, it is important to make the document collaboration as secure as possible. The second one is the document collaboration itself. So we would like to make the software that help you to organize collaboration. So everyone should be able to work with their teammates on the documents. Thirdly, usability. We would like to provide an excellent, I'd like to say, brilliant user experience. And finally, finally, flexibility and integrations. And this is, I think, the key point. We would like to make our software accessible for everyone, regardless of their platform or their device. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about on the office. What is on the office? It is an open source project focused on secured and advanced document editing. So uh, it comprises the editors for text documents, slides, sheets, PDF files, and of course, digital forms. So uh, on the office has office open XML as a core file format. And it also has a single engine for desktop, mobile, and web versions. And you can switch from offline to online and vice versa. That's very important. Uh, in 2022, we had, uh, I guess, three major releases and more than five uh, intermediate hotfixes. So we do like, we do love making releases. We do love fixing bugs and adding new features. That's true. Uh, now let's have a deeper look at the first point we have identified. So the security. Are you worried about unauthorized access to your important documents? Worry no more. Since version 7.2, only Office has JSON Web Token enabled by default. What, what does it mean? It means that everything you need to do is just adding secret part to your host application, to your CMS, to your DMS, or anything else. And that's all. Uh, when I take a security step further, just replace the default key with your own value again. It has never been easier to protect your spreadsheets with only Office. Now you are able to protect your sheets and workbooks. But not only that, you are also able to allow editing only for specific ranges, hide formulas, log cells, or I don't know, there are many options. Uh, version 7.3 takes document editing to another security level. Now you can protect your text document allowing editing only certain actions. So uh, reading, for example, filling forms, there are many, many user rights available here. And this 
sophisticated feature uh, gives you complete control over who can edit or access your document. And now a little bit about the collaboration. Introducing only Office Forms. What is only Office Forms? Say goodbye to tedious paperwork routine. Just create model document that contains a lot of different fields like text areas, combo boxes, drop down lists, and many, many others. You are able to communicate on your forms with your teammates. Then you can save them if it's necessary. If you need a hard copy, just export it to PDF. That's all. And we, in version 7.3, we have added a new functionality. Now you are able to create and assign recipient roles for form fillet. What does it mean? It means that it is more comfortable to end user to identify which fields to fill out. Uh, we also have added some uh, new fields like date and time with various display options, zip code and credit cards. I'm looking for free and easy to use templates, form templates. We have good news. Uh, it is only Office free forms library. It has lots of different forms in different languages. And almost everything that you need to automate your paperwork process. If you cannot find the right form, just let us know. We will create it for you. Or if you are interested in placing your form into the library, again, let us know. We will add the information that you are the author of that form. We will place the link to your, I don't know, to your website, to your WeChat or anything else. We have lots of partners who already have their forms in our library. Uh, the next very important news, uh, I think it's a new um, live view mode. Now you are able to open documents, spreadsheets or presentations in view only mode, but you are able to see what's happening in real time. So all changes are visible. There is no need to wait to click on save on refresh button or anything else. Uh, almost the same for on the Office spreadsheet, here, course of display, a new option that allows you to see the selections of your teammates marked with different colors. Again, everything for co-editing. We know that version history is very important when you edit your documents. And this is why on the Office document uh, spreadsheet editors now have that option. So you are able to uh, dig into your drafts to look for an old version and restore it if it's necessary. A little bit about commands. Now you're able to sort all commands in the document to sort by date, by time, by author or alphabetically. We do have two new modes for displaying uh, changes in the review mode. So the first one is when you click and all changes are displayed in balloons. And the second one is when you hover your mouse over the changes, it's displayed in tooltips. Uh, what about usability enhancement? So we have updated our fonts engine. That's very important right here. Say hello to uh, half bus uh, texts fonts library. So it allows us to use new scripts. Now we do support ligatures. Now we are able to combine few symbols into a single one. You know what is it? And now we, we do support many new languages. Uh, Bengali or Sinhala uh, are supported now and we are continuously working on that. On Office is all about customization, all about usability. And this is why we do support dark themes, but not only that, we do support uh, dark contrast customizations, and we can enable 
dark mode or light mode, depending on your operating system changes. There are lots of changes in the on the office docs. So, uh, for example, you can use local files and URLs when working on mail merge. Uh, the hyperlinks can be corrected automatically and uh, the work with shapes is being more convenient. We do support all the spreadsheets and what's very important, uh, search and replace engine has been updated. It is now more powerful and more comfortable to use. New features in spreadsheets, just few, query tables, print preview, or hotkeys for paste specials, just few of them. And of course, editors haven't left behind. So we do support now full animations. We do have new tabs for working with transitions. Again, hyperlinks can be auto-corrected and all the spreadsheets can be inserted. And the last version, 7.3, allows you to insert smart art objects to use Unicode and LaTeX equations and what's very important to use watch window. Uh, that's an option that allows to, um, to work on your um, formulas with, uh, with corrections, with checking the formulas before applying them in spreadsheets. Only Office is designed to work on all file types, on all formats. We do have Office Open XML as core file format, and we do our best to support all objects and all attributes of that format, of the standard. We have created two new formats. The first one is docxf, where f stands for form. That is a template of the file, template of the form. You are able now to work on the form, to share it, and then, if it is ready, you can share it with anyone, saving it to ready to fill out uh, all form format. We do also have uh, new viewers for PDF, XPS, and Deja Vu files. Here you can use new page thumbnail panel and new navigation bar. And all PDF files can be converted to docx and all other file types, except for PDFA. I don't know who does use PDFA, but anyway. Uh, so all slides can be exported to PNG or JPG images. PPSX files are also supported for viewing. And now uh, my favorite part, integrations. As I said already, we want to make our software accessible for everyone, regardless of their platform or device. And this is, we do have more than 30 integrations, integrations external with uh, different <clears throat> DMS or CMS platforms, electronic learning platforms, and many, many others. But the first integration is the integration with our own solution, only Office Workspace. What is only Office Workspace is uh, a collaboration platform that allows you to use different productivity applications with CRM, project management, calendar, mail, and many, many other modules. And here we use our docs editors as default document editing engine. It has been updated when talking about that integration. And now new integrations. The first one is Moodle. It is very important. I know that lots of universities around the world are using that platform. Uh, we do already have it. And three integrations with frameworks like Strapi, WordPress, and Drupal. So if you are using one of these frameworks for your website, you are welcome to give a try to on the office. What about Moodle? Uh, it is available in the official Moodle plugin store. So all documents attached to Moodle courses can be edited with on the office now. 
and you are also able to collaborate on them if it's necessary. Uh, of course, we do not forget to update our existing connectors. Here you can see, uh, I think twice, maybe three times per year, we release new versions of every connector. So C file, Life Ray, Alfresco, there are lots of them. And uh, we have welcomed new platforms. For example, Tulip for open source agile management, Lenoir Francais for organizing French speaking community, and uh, Flink ISO for uh, quality management software. Now, a little bit about plugins. Who doesn't love a good plugin that can enhance your, for example, work on the documents. I'm sure that uh, there is no need to explain what is Jitsi, but now we do have integrations with these three handy platforms. Now you are able to organize voice call or video call right within the document editing software. The next plugin is Draw.io. Uh, unleash your inner artist using that plugin. So uh, draw diagrams, mind maps, or charts. Uh, good news for Markdown fans. We have Doc2MD plugin. Now your text can be saved, can be exported as Markdown. And of course, last but not least, ChatGPT. So uh, here there is not about the hype around the ChatGPT. That's just a small plugin for using text generated with ChatGPT in your documents. If that's necessary, you're welcome to use it absolutely for free. And all these plugins can be installed from our official marketplace. What is marketplace? Uh, you can look for plugins, you can install them, you can remove them directly from the editors without closing them. A little bit about new macros. We have examples for working with Google search for importing CSV and TXT data, and again, for example, for using ChatGPT. As I said already twice, we want to make our software accessible for everyone regardless of their platform. And this is why we do have lots of distribution forms and packages. And good news, only Office Docs is now available as a service, as a cloud service. There is no need to host, to customize, to install anything. Just go to on the Office web page and register on the Office Docs. Good news for ARM fans. On the Office Docs and Document Builder are available when using devices on ARM architecture. And we are proud that our desktop editors are included into many operating systems. Many operating systems. Here are just a few of them. And uh, I'd like to pay your attention to the fact that uh, we have compatibility certificate with China's operating system, Kylin OS. Our software can be provided as a service by different service providers like Alibaba, OVH Cloud, or AWS Marketplace. We, we are glad to be involved in some technological launches. For example, Minis Forum and Manjaro Linux have created their own mini PC, UM350, with all the Office desktop pre-installed. And the same for Morena cell phones. They do provide our software in their ecosystem for editing their documents. If you are using Angular or React or Vue, you are welcome to use one of our examples. There are few available on our web page. And one very well, good news for developers. We have created a new API class to access documents from outside, from external interfaces. Now you are able to communicate with the content of your document without relying 
on document editor buttons, just using API methods. A little bit about Document Builder, we have updated .NET Doctor Render library to make more comfortable, uh, I mean, working with uh, Document Builder if you have application written in .NET. And a little bit about our team and our locations. We now have new offices here in Singapore, in Armenia, in Uzbekistan, and in Serbia. Our team is growing. And that helps us to provide high-quality technical support, high-quality professional services. That is very important for us. Again, we are here in Singapore. We are glad that we have won uh, Cloud Computer, uh, Cloud Content Management Award in Cloud Computing Insider Awards. And it is an honor to be recognized as one of the most important cloud content management platforms. And <laughs> thanks. And a little bit about our future plans. Uh, we we do have lots of plans. We do have plans to add new features. We do have plans to add new options. But we also do have plans to make new products. And this is why we are working now on a new product called OnlyOffice DocSpace. What is it? We know almost everything about editing documents, about co-editing documents. And this is why we have created a new product. It is a new way to collaborate on your documents in the rooms called, in the spaces called rooms. So you can collaborate with your teammates you can share your documents, you can, you can invite new users, you can customize the rooms. And what is very important, this product can be integrated into your solution. We do have plans to include end-to-end -end encryption and our forms are also can be integrated into that product. That is absolutely a new way how to co-author your documents how to work with your teammates. We do have lots of plans. We do have plans to add right to left support. We do have plans to add new languages in the interfaces, to edit documents on mobile devices in a new way, in a brand new way, and to add digital signatures. Again, talking about the previous product on the office doc space, digital signatures are also supported. Thank you a lot for your time. So we have a booth downstairs. If you are interested, just come. We can show you everything you need or you are interested in. Thank you.